Well, hello, Libras. Libras. Libras, let's get right into your reading. We had a solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse, on the 8th of April. This video is for the 10th of April through the 10th of May. So hopefully you all are in this new moon phase, super new you. Hopefully you all are feeling reset like that total solar eclipse. Hope you feel like totally reset. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Libras. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. All right. I've already prayed over your cards. I've already asked Most High God for complete and total clarity in every area of your lives. So let's see what's in your cards. Talking to you wherever Libra is in your birth chart. So somebody just coming out of something, right? Possibly with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And the energy is trying to buy more time. But it looks like they just haven't given up some kind of a sex addiction. Here we have the Seven of Cups. They can't stop comparing you with people. Like, what in the world, right? So, Source is saying to you, it's time for you to move on from those types of energies. Constantly being indecisive, carrying their burdens and all this kind of stuff. Here we also have the Eight of Swords. It's a form of self-sabotage. Yeah, Eight of Swords. That's self-sabotage, right? Source is saying you can put all that fire behind financial independence because that's what's coming your way. Source is trying to help you to focus on um, your uh, legacy wealth. Here we also have the uh, El Bobo. So it's time to leave the circus behind and it's time for you to focus on your legacy. What do you want your legacy to be, right? What do you want to pass down to your friends, your mentees? Just what do you want to pass down to the world? What gift do you want to leave to the world besides being connected to energies who are lost and confused and want you to be just as lost and confused as they are? So it doesn't matter who they are. It could be family members, friends. That's I'm talking about a, a major reset. But some people feel some kind of way about you not wanting to hang in there with them and continue being indecisive. But that's what that full moon in Libra was all about. So I see you closing out cycles in love. I feel like somebody is saying, I need to move on. I need to move on. I need to close out cycles in love. I feel changed, liberated, and free. I'm now creating very firm boundaries. I'm going to enforce those boundaries from now on. So stay strong. Stay strong, stay strong, stay strong. Somebody feels free. Somebody says, hey, you know what? I feel free. I feel a lot more versatile. I, need to, I can move around. I can do some things. I'm physically moving. Somebody is physically moving away from that kind of mess. And good for you. I mean, for real. You made it from nine of wands to ten of wands. Yeah, somebody says, you know what? I'm packing up. I'm traveling light. I'm not moving forward with all that mess. Page of pentacles here. So new money is coming across your path as a result of you. Like I said, all this, all this, depending on how long somebody was in a situation... Think about it this way, and this may keep somebody motivated to stay away from certain types of energies that just burn you out and frustrate you. Now you're motivated. Like every time you think about them, you say, oh, let me switch gears here. I just remember how I was blowtorched. I remember how they just narcissistic energy. I remember how their low self-worth affected me. I remember how their confusion affected me. It doesn't matter who it is because they're still lost. They're still in they're still in their own personal hell of trying to find their light. So they're looking for religion. They're looking for, they're looking for it in a building instead of looking at rebuilding themselves. They're looking at it in some kind of structure outside of themselves. And they don't know that the true wealth is within the wealth of knowledge, wisdom, alignment, all of that is within, but they don't know that. So source is saying, but you do. So I see you physically moving. Yeah. Some energies may be trying to call you back emotionally, you know, just to, you know, every time you think about it, sometimes people think, oh, I wasted so much time. I wish I could have been doing such and such. So as I said, you left, you left some circuses behind. You got real serious about creating boundaries and you were not playing. I'm telling you, a lot of people didn't see it coming because some, I feel like, I feel like, okay, because you came through something by yourself. So somebody could be leaving like a whole group of energy or groups of energies behind. So it could be family members, like church family. It could be blood relative family. It could have been jobs. Somebody is like, you know, something major is happening here. Like that solar eclipse, right? So somebody says, hey, look, don't get blinded by my light. I asked for Source's help. Source got me out of some stuff. And hey, here I am on the other side. Congratulations to you. Balanced out without. So all the time that you put into something, Source is like, okay, I'm about to give you that time back. So make sure you're financially independent, just being away from them. So being financially independent before you, somebody could be like uh, thinking about wanting to settle down and build a legacy with somebody, but somebody's thinking now, it's like, oh, what does that look like? I need to slow down and take my time. I need to slow down and take my time and go through a rebirth, right? Go through a rebirth. Yeah. 
somebody could have a baby with somebody or you could have created or kids with somebody it could be two kids you know but source is saying to you you're trading the time that you put into something even if there's kids involved and saying okay i'm not going back into a wilderness situation i'm not going back to chaos and confusion and and trying to build from a from on shaky ground so yeah good for you good for you you are not carrying other people's emotional baggage you you're not carrying people's baggage of being stubborn and and constantly trying to argue with you about how they were so patient with you and how you were just this bag of mess <laughs> You know how some people try to make it seem like you just the you the devil incarnate, but they saved you. So it's just like, yeah, right, okay. They they need to save themselves from the the chaos and confusion that they're in. So anyway, I definitely see you moving forward from that. So congratulations to you for that. Because it would be self-sabotage to go back. Here we have the nine of wands again. It's two situations, two types of situations in particular. The energies, they just refuse to even try to change. Not your problem. You feel free of both of them, both types of energies. Because, again, somebody may be, have religiously done something, and we're not talking about church, mosque, temple, not necessarily. But somebody, some, that could have been poured into that you got to stay in the fire. You got to keep on putting in time and, you know, and, and, and waiting around for other people to change while you are carrying their baggage and now it's an expected it's expected for you to carry other people's emotional baggage and their emotional load so i feel like somebody could be in hermit mode remember mercury is currently retrograde so somebody is really just going through some checks and you know check boxes right now just trying to make some sense of it all but here we have the nine of wands again so two situations in particular you moved on from so here we have the seven of wands so this is where again you not only increase your prayer life but also visualize yourself with wherever it is you're going somebody could be relocating congratulations page of wands sources cooking up something nice for you so stay in faith here we have the queen of cups keep pouring into yourself and again there's other you you're dealing with some energies that like to compare people like whether it's in the family it's like oh, okay your sister looks better than you do or your brother is smarter than you are or your sister is you know smarter or has more or whatever you know you know like it's a beauty pageant Source is saying to you, move on, just move on, move on, move on, move on, move on, move on. Somebody is definitely dealing with somebody who try to compare you with an ex. Parents who be comparing kids. Here we have the um, Knight of Pentacles here. So yeah, I definitely feel like somebody moving on in faith. Here we have Queen of Wands here. We also have the King of Cups here. We also have... Um, the Ten of Cups. And sometimes you don't know what your demons are until somebody says something. And you're like, I didn't even realize that was a trigger. And they didn't realize they could have said something that could have reminded you of what a trigger was. Right? So here we have the Magician card. Mercury is currently retrograde. Right? And you've already moved on from the disappointment. So good for you. Ten of Cups here. So you're moving on to a more peaceful environment within yourself. Here we also the Queen of, of, Queen of Wands and also the King of Cups. So the sources say you're pouring into yourselves. You're not letting things get your temper flared by any stretch of the imagination, which is a good thing, which is a really, really, really good thing. Keep in mind as you're moving forward and thinking about your legacy, that may be something that somebody wants to start talking about. Like if you came out of situations where you were cheated on, lied to, compared to another person, betrayed in some way, shape, form, or fashion, since we're talking about the Seven of Cups here, then that'd be a good idea for you to tell people. Like tell people ahead of time, like, yeah, that makes me feel uncomfortable. That's a trigger for me. Not everybody's going to know what a trigger is. That's like a person who doesn't know that you could have been addicted to sugar. And they, they order a nice big slice of cake, you know, after after dinner. And you go out, you say, oh, that's it. That's not my person because they order some cake. And that's a sign. No, it's a sign you should speak up. <laughs> it's a sign you want to speak up, right? So, yeah, so that's what Source is trying to get somebody to do is, like, learn how to really, really speak up and learn how to. The, this right here connects us with Saturn. Saturn is a planet of maturity and authority. And so it is really your duty and responsibility if you know, if you're in situations to speak up, give people an opportunity to, to understand, to, you know, understand where you are, you know, on your journey. So, yeah. So let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Yeah. So, yeah, I feel like, uh, 
Here we have the Page of Wands. Here we also have the Four of Wands. I see no and exuberant love coming across the ice path. This is very nice. You got some good news coming in. Good news coming in, right? Uh, do, 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 Yeah. So we also have the Four of Cups here. So Source is saying, while you're waiting around Four and Three of Cups, and there's a lot of temptations around you, Source is saying, first deal with the fact that two types of situations are no longer your responsibility. You know, it's like, okay, that's not, I'm not holding that bag of just being constantly compared to this person compared to that person. It's not a beauty pageant. I'm beautiful on the inside. Whatever it is, your thing is. But Source is saying to you, instead of you being tempted to go back into situations like that, keep your vibrations high because when, whatever it is you're praying for, once it comes into view for you, that is a conversation. It's a Saturn, right? That's what's going to make somebody feel like I feel changed, liberated, and free from even being compared to like, um, and when your heart is involved, sometimes it's just like, wow, you know, you see people change their appearance for other people. They change what they look like. They go out and buy this and buy that and do all of this thinking that they're meeting other people's standards and living up to whatever, whatever. And only to find out the person cheated the, the person did this and did that. So it's just like, okay, now it's like, okay, now I need to fix something within my, my spirit. That if, if I'm in situations where that's a trigger for me, I can one, speak up, give somebody an opportunity to say, oh, I didn't even realize that's what I was doing. Sometimes people don't know. So it's just saying, hang in there with yourselves. Hang in there with yourselves. Here we have the page of wands. So I definitely feel like somebody's going to feel like a teenager again, as far as two situations are concerned. But congratulations for moving. Somebody's going to be celebrating, um, possibly moving into a new home and also celebrating uh, new and exuberant love. But yeah, that happens a lot. I mean, and it's, it's passed down from generation to generation and generation. It does feel uncomfortable when you've been compared to siblings. How come you can't be more like your brother? What's the name of that movie? It was a documentary. It's a um, uh, Netflix documentary, The Murdoch Family. Where the father, they came from like a, a, a family of law enforcement. Um, the father was an attorney. And two brothers. One of the brothers, I think, went to law school. And then the parents just kind of sort of gave up on the younger son. Let the nanny raise it. So y'all, some of y'all watched the movie. And he was basically like, okay, he could never measure up to his brother. He could never measure up to his father. You know, those kind of things. It is kind of hurtful when that's been passed down through the generational bloodline. But that's why when it looks like you building your legacy with in spaces where you feel like it's a safe space, Source is saying you don't, you know, you can't really help if a person compares you to somebody else in a sense where it's not even intentional. That's why it's time to, somebody has to speak up on something because that's what, that's what this reading is. Take only what resonates with you. You don't know who, I mean, people compare people to this stuff all the time. It doesn't take away when it's intentionally trying to hurt you though. That's when somebody wants to say something like, okay, now wait a minute now. Hold on now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on, hold on a minute. So yeah. Yeah, because it's unrealistic to know how a person is going to make you feel safe. See this right here? You are your inner child. That's what conversations are about. That's how you keep the peace. And that's how, that's the beautiful thing about that moon being in Libra is because... Libra being ruled by Venus, the way that Venus rules Libra is that be, be, is to keep the peace, right? Venus is the peacemaker planet. And in order to keep the peace, you don't just keep your mouth closed. You start speaking up. Like, okay, before it gets to, to mountain to a, like a mountain size, when it's a molehill, that's when you speak up. That's when sources are saying, learn how to speak up. Do 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 Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, so I definitely feel like somebody's going to be in a safe space where you don't have to feel all of that, you know, feel all of that hostility, that anger, that rage, that, that, you know, feeling burned out, confused, feeling like, um, you're connected to narcissism. You don't have to be all of that. They constantly complaining about how everybody is hurting them and doing this and blah, blah, blah. But they won't, they won't disconnect. They won't detach from the very energies they're saying are causing them pain. So always bet on you. 
That's right. Somebody apologizes for betraying you, but you're not going backwards. It's time to heal your wounded, um, your wounded uh, warrior. It's your your wounded healer, your Chiron. So your new home awaits. Somebody is moving. So your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Whoever this person is that apologizes for hurting you, um, what they don't realize, and this is why God does not want you to go backwards, because it's hard to take back. Once you've started a wildfire of lies about people, you know, wildfire of rumors and made it all about how somebody hurt you, even exaggerated, you know, added to it, made it more salacious. You got people all up in their feelings. They It's, it's helped them take their feelings out, and misery loves company. So it's helped some people take their eyes off of their miserable life and put it on, you know, put all that anger and rage towards you. That's why you're not going back. That's how you say your mental health is just as important. So even if they came back and go, oh my God, it wouldn't be sincere. Oh my God, I had no idea that, um, you know, I, I did that to you. It, so, but let their apology be just as loud as the stuff, the fire that they started. Let that apology be just as loud, but it won't be. Because they're going to have something. It's not sincere. It's they're going to have something as to what set you off, what set them off. Child, goodbye. <laughs> anyway, somebody apologizes. Let they, hey, if they send it out to the universe, you got it here in the reading. You got the apology. There it is. But don't even sabotage yourself by going back through a wilderness situation where you lost and confused. It, it's better. Yeah, here we have. Um, Dance around your home as if no one is watching. And so you are who they prayed for. So whoever your person that's coming into your lives, uh, Libra, you are who they prayed for. That's all that matters. But so now somebody will get more serious about creating boundaries and enforcing those boundaries before things get out of hand. Because I'm telling you, a lot of times, we, got, and this is not being gullible, this is the truth. A lot of people don't know if they've hurt if what they said or done hurt you. It's when you give them an opportunity to apologize, when they start basically gaslighting you that's the problem that's when you know it's a problem so either you think i'm boobo the fool speaking of the fool card or you really just that foolish in either case i need to go ahead and close out this cycle and go ahead and leave the circus because you think i'm gonna stand right here and let you gaslight me mm -mm. <laughs> be bold and make the first move be bold and make the first, first move. So, yeah, so cardinal, cardinal sign. Aries is a cardinal sign. So, um, we're not talking about any Aries that you know or whether you like them or don't like them. You can have Aries in your birth chart. Aries is ruled by Mars, which is a tower card. So, this is somebody's like reset. Like, okay, I'm going to put all my energy towards my purpose. See the sun? Right here, I'm putting all my energy towards my purpose. I'm going through a rebirth. If I'm going to grow something inside of me, I'm going to grow my cre my creativity, you know, so that I have all these great ideas that's going to make me a whole lot of money. I'm already highly creative. I'm not going to sabotage myself by going back into some situations that, like I said before, could um make you feel like you're going you're you know like you need to like you feel like okay i feel like i belong in a straight jacket here we have sun god come on come now expand into the skies and into the shadows below some people just want you to soothe their egos you're not inter you ain't interested in that the soothe what yeah they need to go talk to source about that Power. That's right. Take your power back. Number seven. Take your power back. I knew I didn't see this, the tower card, but it reduces to the number seven. That the number of the tower card. Yeah, there's some energies having a tower moment right now. They they apologize for betraying you, and we're talking about somebody who was narcissistic. We're not talking about somebody who didn't know that they betrayed you or that they hurt you in some way, shape, or fashion, or, be, or betrayed your trust. Some people really don't know. And again, I can't even reiterate, sometimes you don't know what you may have done to hurt somebody or offend somebody. And some people just live in that, oh, they knew what they did. They knew exactly what they did. Some people do, some people don't. Some people, you give them an opportunity to clean it up and they don't clean it up. They gaslight you. That's when you know, okay, something else is going on here. I need to remove myself. I need to get myself, my, me and my inner child to safety. Yeah. But yeah, you learn how to take your power back. And that's what's setting some people. Like I said, they have to depend on how, it depends on them and how how far down they want to, how they want to break their fall. Because some people are going through a tower moment right now. They don't have anything to do with you. Move on. Take your power back. 
They didn't lie. They told people all kinds of stuff that you need to be in handcuffs. You need to be in jail. They even told people all got all this stuff fired up. And now all of a sudden, because they starting to see that you're taking your power back and you're, you're rerouting that fire, you're turning that energy into inspiring and motiv motivating people to find the flame within themselves. Now they want to come back and they, they want to apologize for betraying you. No, nah, some people just fly off the handle. They think the worst of people. You can't even, you can't even grieve without some people thinking the worst of you because that's how they've always felt about themselves trying to project onto you. But like I said, not your problem. Not your circus. You've already moved on. So kudos and congratulations to you, Libras, because, yeah, you took your power back. You took your power back. And that's when somebody says, I feel free. It's two situations in particular. You say, I feel free. I feel liberated. It could be because of their religious beliefs. They feel like it was okay to gossip. And you would think that it was just like a, you know, they could be using their fire for a bonfire to inspire and motivate people just like you're doing. But that's not how they see the use of their fire. They rather run around blowtorching, gossiping, jumping to conclusions, being selfish and narcissistic. Not your problem. You are moving forward to healthier, peaceful relationships. You are the energy you desire to attract. Divine source. Help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. That's right. You are my source for all. Some people, you can't even have the flu. You can't be sick without them talking about you because that's how they feel. That's how they, they just, there's an internal struggle going on. It has nothing to do with you. But once it, it once that, that flame torch hits you, that's when it says, okay, well, I got to get out of here. Zero, zero. That's right. You closing out two type two cycles, it, two types of situations. Air tight. I am observant. Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes. Listen and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. Zero, zero. That's right. You add double value to people's lives. Like I feel like somebody's a prayer warrior, and some people. What, what has been assigned to you, it looks like, Libra, is people who pray on you. They prayed on you and they prayed on other people's. The fact that your ability to pray and things come to, you know, when you pray, you shift the atmosphere. And you certainly shifted some people's atmosphere and they feel some kind of way. That's why some people are apologetic because just like they've been hearing negative about you, there's other people have, that you've inspired are hearing positive about you, and they're saying, "Oh my God!" Oh, oh. so so it really washes it out. So you don't have, you don't even have to do anything. You don't have to do anything because for every negative that some people try to say about you, here comes the positives coming up the back. Like, no, nah, that hasn't been my experience with Libra. I, don't, I mean, yeah, that hasn't been my experience. Libra's helped me with this, 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 that, and the other. So you don't really have to speak up for yourself. You just have to let. You know, keep your vibrations high. Abundance is my birthright. This is affirmations for abundance. The, there's a piece of pie with my name on it. Money flows to me easily and freely. I'm attracting everything I need for this season. I let go of what weighs me down. Opportunities align with my purpose surround me. I am true to myself. I am true to myself. So, yeah. So, here are the questions for the moon and Taurus. First question is, how often do you feel true pleasure? The second question is, do you feel guilty about pursuing pleasure? Third question is, where are the energy blockages and places of tension located in your body? Fourth question is, can you discern how your body says yes to some things and no to others? And then last but not least is, what does your body need? And the, the primary focus, like I said, this is Taurus right here. Taurus and Libra, we had the full moon in Libra on March 25th, are ruled by Venus. And Venus is the planet of love, pleasure, art, music, erotic love, attraction, you know, um, those types of things, right? It's also a peacemaker plan. And so sources are saying, when you come in contact with people who are not at peace with themselves and you can't even have a moment to breathe without them thinking the worst, you can't even be in divine, um, you can't even be in receiving mode of just kind of sort of trying to gather your thoughts and they're thinking the worst and they spreading all this negative gossip about you. You can't even have a moment. Sources are saying, that's your exit strategy right there. A lot of people don't see it because they go right back into a situation and warm back up to the idea. Well, I'm just trying to be fair. My day was going through some stuff, so they didn't know. How is it that you wanting to find the light within yourself has caused so many, so many people so much anxiety? 
because you don't want to be in a codependent relationship. So, yeah, I mean, leave the circus. Two situations in particular. So, um, that's what I'm saying for you all. Let me see if there's anything else in your reading. I think this is it, but yeah. You situations in particular, and it's not even just two people, it's two types of situations. They're, that's how they're structured. That's how they're, that's how they believe that they're wired to be that way. The same fire that people can use to inspire and motivate people. When they, when people say stuff like, oh, I can see right through their BS, their belief system, obviously they're saying bull, S-H-I-T, right? They're saying that. But the same people who can see right through other people's BS can also help them find their purpose in life. The same fire can be used for good or evil. That's why I talk about the light and dark side of all energy. And so all it took was for you to be in hermit mode to start, you know, really start going through a checklist of some things. I'm telling y'all, some people cannot function without drama. They can't. It's, it's like, it's just so, they so wrapped up and entangled in it, Libra. You can be the most fair-minded Libra on the planet. It won't make a difference because as soon as you take your air back and everybody, they like, they gasping for air because fire can't breathe without, it can't, it can't exist without air. It immediately goes out. So the moment you take your your air out, because maybe you need some fresh air, maybe you take, go take a trip or vacation or you're off for work, all hell breaks loose around people like that. So sources say you just had to be blowtorched a couple of times to see it. Like, okay, I need to get away from them. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.